The founder of a Denver church that uses marijuana in its sacraments is now on trial. It is called the International Church of Cannabis. You'll find it in South Denver. CBS 4's Rick Salinger is there tonight. So, Rick, what are the charges? Misdemeanor charges Jim of open and public consumption of marijuana and violation of Colorado's Clean Indoor Air Act. This may all come down to the jury deciding what's public and what's not. It was an old Lutheran church dating back many decades, but the decorations on the outside give a clue it has changed dramatically on the inside. It's now the International Church of Cannabis. One of the founders is Steve Burke. The church believes that cannabis is a sacrament that can help people elevate themselves to a better version of self. He insists the event here on April 20th, 2017 was by invitation only. He says they even had lawyers who contacted the city attorney's office to make sure it was legal. Kenny Breeding was one of those present. It was by invite. It was, uh, uh, and I understand that the uh, law enforcement circumvented their security on purpose. Some undercover officers got in. Others did not. The city says it amounted to public consumption of marijuana. In this case, Denver found that it was public consumption. We tried to assist, we tried to help, to try to prevent them from doing unlawful activities. Unfortunately, uh, it appears they didn't heed our advice. But the defense asked why a founder of a church has been charged and not the organizers of events, such as the 420 smokeout and concerts. If you look at Red Rocks Amphitheater, owned by the city of Denver, there are people consuming cannabis every single night. Burke maintains he himself did not consume any marijuana during this event and claims his freedom of religion is being violated. Live on South Logan, Rick Salinger covering Colorado First. Thanks, Rick.